Hi everyone, Kyle here. Just wanted to make a screencast about Google Meet to take you through some of the basics and understand the ways you can participate in a virtual meeting using Google Meet. You might also hear it called Google Hangouts or Hangouts Meet. Um, that's kind of interchangeable, whether you call it Hangouts or Google Meet, both are fine. Um, we can use Google Meet for virtual staff meetings, virtual school board meetings, virtual grade level meetings, virtual department meetings, uh, certainly also for virtual class meetings with our students. Whether you want that to be a synchronous meeting that everyone participates in in real time, or you want to use Google Meet to have an asynchronous event that students, parents, a team, could watch at a later time. Uh, Google Meet works for both of those things. What you're seeing here on my screen is the Google Meet homepage. So when you go to meet.google.com, this is what you will see. And this can be your jumping off point for either joining an existing meeting that someone has invited you to, or you can create your own meeting right here from the Google Meet homepage. Before we get into this too much right here, I want to jump over to my Google Calendar because when you create a calendar event, and I'm going to just create one called department meeting, you have this option here, add rooms, location, or conferencing. And when you click that, you then have the option to click add conferencing. Doing that instantly creates that virtual meeting room and automatically attaches it to your Google Calendar event. So then anyone who you invite the Google Calendar event to, again, department, grade level, so on, they will have that Hangouts Meet information right there, ready to go in the calendar entry. So they'll see that when they get the email notification of this calendar event, but then this will be part of the information that just gets added to their Google Calendar. One new feature that we've got is if you click the drop down arrow, once you've created the Hangouts Meet, if you click the drop down arrow, we now have the option to also add a live stream. So typically when we do a Hangout Meet, we get the meeting ID, which is the link that they would need to join the meeting from their computer or a tablet. Um, or if someone wants to just call in using their cell phone, gives them a phone number that they can dial. They can dial a phone number, enter in this PIN number, and they can listen and participate just using a by making a regular phone call. But we have this option now to add a live stream. So I can click that, and then it creates another link that is a dedicated live stream link. So think of this as a view-only link. No one that you want to actually participate in the meeting, but you want to live stream the meeting so they could watch it live if you, they wanted to and uh, see and hear everything that's happening in that meeting. So you could give out the live stream link if you would like to do that. Um, and you can just easily copy that link if you need to. Um, you can easily copy the link to the meeting ID if you ever need to. You have all of that information right here in your Google Calendar event, okay? So very easy to add that onto a Google Calendar entry. I'm going to jump back over to Google Meet and I'm going to start a practice meeting. So I'm just going to click join or start a meeting. I'm going to give the meeting a name, okay? So we're just going to call it Kyle Demo. And then I'm going to click continue. Then what's going to happen is you're going to be taken into, uh, think of this like your virtual green room. So now we're seeing me. Hi, everybody. So think of this like your virtual green room as you get ready to enter the Google Meet session, okay? So it's showing me my camera. I'm using my webcam, obviously. Um, it's showing me my microphone information, and I can check all of these things before I join everyone else that's going to be in the virtual meeting. Now, what else I can do is I can just click the camera button down here, and I can turn off my camera. You don't have to have a camera to participate in a uh, virtual meeting using Google Meet. There are times when it's beneficial to have the camera on so everyone can see everybody else. 
Um, but you can enter with the camera off if you would like to. So we're just going to keep it off for the rest of this call um, just to make things simpler. Um, but then when you're ready, you can just click join now. It's going to pop up the join information. So if you need to quickly copy that and email it to someone, or if you need to send it in an instant message to somebody that needs to be in the meeting with you, you can do that. I can go right to adding people. So if I click on add people and I go to add someone to my meeting, I can invite people to the meeting right away if I want to do that. Um, then because my webcam is off, remember, you're just, that's why you're just seeing my profile picture, okay? Um, anybody that does not have a camera or has their camera off, that's what the others will see. Um, anybody else that's in the meeting will appear over here on the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, I can click on the little people button in the top right corner to see who else is in the meeting. This is also where you access the chat feature during the meeting. So if you need to post any links for people in your meeting that you want them to get to, or if anyone wants to ask a question, that's what the chat can be used for um, during a Hangout Meet session as well. Um, down at the bottom is where I can mute and unmute my mic, my microphone, excuse me. This is where I can turn on and off my camera right from there. And then of course my hang up button down here if I need to leave the call. In the bottom right corner though, we've got some really great features. So one of them is turning on closed captioning. So if you have anybody on the call where it might be helpful, I know sometimes it's helpful to me, I'm just gonna click on turn on captions and then you will see that anyone that is talking during the meeting, it's going to automatically transcribe into captions anything that's being said. You will see who is saying it and what exactly they are saying. That is a great accessibility feature if you have team members or students that need that during one of these virtual sessions so they can read what you're saying in addition to hearing what you're saying. Just click that again, we'll turn the captions off. I have the option next to that to present my screen. So I can present my screen during the meeting. When I click that, I can choose to present a specific window or just my entire screen. So this enables anyone in the meeting to screen share, meaning if they wanna show you something else on from their computer screen, maybe a slide presentation or a document or a website, anyone can share their screen during this meeting as well. So that's a very handy feature for anyone in the group to be able to present their screen. Great for doing virtual office hours with students. If a student needs to check in and get some feedback on a project, they can jump in your virtual office hours uh, meet session and they can share their screen so you can take a look at it if you would need to. Then next to that, we have our three little dots that just gives us some more options. The one I really want to focus on for this screencast is the option that says record meeting. This is another new feature that we have available to us now, courtesy of Google, making the premium features of Google Meet available uh, between now and the remainder of the school year. So when I click record meeting, the first thing that's going to pop up is a reminder to let other participants in your meeting know. So specific people that you have invited to join you in this meeting. Just a reminder, hey, make sure those people know that they're being recorded during this meet, uh, Google Meet session. So that's what that is a reminder about. So I'm going to click accept. And then you'll notice up in the top left corner of the meet window, uh, you heard a little sound and now our recording button is on and is showing red in the top left corner just as a reminder that this meeting is being recorded. That includes anything that's said, anybody's webcam, any screen sharing. If you use the chat feature over on the right hand side, that is all being recorded during this session. Okay. Um, and then if you want, you can Anytime you want, you just go back down to the three little dots and you choose stop recording and ask you, are you sure you want to do that? So we're going to click stop recording again. 
Here's the great thing too. Once you record something in Google Meet, it automatically makes a folder in your Google Drive called Meet Recordings. So every single Hangout Meet session that you've recorded automatically gets saved into a folder in your Google Drive. Um, it can be then shared out from there uh, in a multitude of ways. So you always have that recorded meeting to go back to. Okay, so that's another fantastic feature. Um, that's pretty much it for the basics on using Google Meet. There are a lot of great ways you can use it. There's a lot of great features. Um, I wanted to create this hopefully to help increase everyone's comfort level as so many of us are going to be leaning on this platform over the next few weeks with all of the changes that uh, are constantly happening to uh, the way we do school. So I hope you found it helpful and be sure to reach out if you have any other questions. Thanks everybody.